it's Anna Paola and for this week's video I decided to do the what's on my iPhone 6s and this is the rose gold and I think that what's on my iPhone videos help you like know like what other people use for their editing apps or like games so I think they're pretty useful but I don't want to make the intro way too long so let's get started so when you first click my home button you see this pink, blue, white, and purple background and when you hold down on it, it moves and I think that's really cool and that's one of the 6S features. So if you were wondering, that's why it moves. Then of course I have like all the basic stuff like messages, photos, find iPhone, app store, all of those basic things which I use a lot. Messages I mostly use to text my friends and WhatsApp I use to text my family mostly. And then I have like the extras, non-use things. And then over here I have my second like slide. And I have my social media. I have Instagram. So if you want to go follow me, it's Anna Paola Dancer. And you should totally follow me. Then I have Snapchat. And if you want to add me, oh look, there's a camera. There's me. And yeah, you can add me and it's also Anna Paola Anna Paola Dancer same as my Instagram all of my social media is the same so yeah then I have Netflix I have YouTube if you're not already subscribed subscribe to me I have Musical.ly I love Musical.ly I'm obsessed with it and yeah it's Anna Paola Dancer then I have Kick, and if you want to text me, it's Anna Paola Gymnast. Anna Paola Gymnast. Then I have Wishbone, which I don't ever use, so I'm not going to click on it. I have Ask FM. No one ever asks me anything, though, so follow me and ask me things because it's pretty boring without questions. Then I have Twitter, which I never use. I kind of use it. But like, not really. I only have 19 followers. Then over here I have Ubu, which if you don't know what it is, it's to like FaceTime a bunch of your friends at the same time and I love it. It's really cool. It's really useful. Then I have You Now and it's like live streaming where you like put your camera right here and then like people can see you live and comment things or like fan you. And yeah, I think it's like kind of unsafe, but I like it anyway. Then I have Pinterest, which I also don't really use. And I have this app, which is one of my favorite apps in the whole world, and it's called Followers. And it tells you like your new followers, who has unfollowed you, who's not following you back, who has blocked you. Two people blocked me, like, really? And people that I'm not following back. All of those things. I love this app. I love it. I love it. Then I have education, which I use for like my school. So I'm not going to click on it. Then I have editing apps. I have Square Ready. And like I can click on this picture and like make it colorful, make it white, move it around, or do this weird thing. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. I like this app. Then I have Square Ready Video, which I actually don't even know how to use. I think it's like the same thing, just for videos. So I don't know. Then I have Flipagram, which you can put like a bunch of videos and pictures together and add music to it. Then I have Pic Collage, which is amazing too. I'm going to do freestyle right now. Then I can click and arrange them. And like, it's really cool. You basically just put like a lot of pictures together. And you can move them around or give them a background and add stickers or grids. It's really cool. Then I have Elf Yourself, which is a really funny app. And yeah, Elf Yourself is to like put pictures of your face and other people's dancing bodies with Christmas songs and it's 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 pretty weird. But it's really funny, so you should download it. And then eraser, which I don't even really know how it works. You just like erase the background to make it like clear and you can put the picture on something else. But I never use it. It's not really that useful. Then my games. I have Akinator, 
which like it guesses, let's say like I'm gonna do Katy Perry. Does your character wear a black mask? No. Is your character linked to a superhero? No. Has your character really existed? Yes. Is your character an adult man? No. Is your character older than 18? Yes. Is your character a YouTuber? No. Has your character recorded any albums? Yes. Did your character start on Disney Channel? No. Is your character blonde? Well, I mean, her natural hair is blonde, but she mostly has it black, so I'm just gonna put no. Is your character black? No. Is your character from Sam and Cat? No. Is your character a mother? No. Is your character a male? No. Do your character still perform? Yes. Does your character often wear strange costumes? Yes. Is your character on The Voice? I don't know. Does your character work with fireworks? Yes. Yay! It guessed Katy Perry. So yeah, I, I like this app a lot. It's really fun. Then I have Flappy's Back, which is like the original Flappy Bird, and I'm like obsessed with this. I only play it when I'm bored, though. And my high score is 161. Then I have MASH, and if you don't know what that is, it's like, it gives you your life. Like, you put options, and then it like gives you your life. It's really weird. So let's say three colleges. I'm just going to put random, 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 random. But you can choose them if you want to. And then draw a spiral. <coughs> And then it's just gonna tell me my story. So yeah, I'm not gonna read it, it's too long. But yeah, it's really fun and weird. Then I have guess the person, it's like guess who, so I'm not gonna go on it. And I have famous birthdays, which I really like. Like let's say I wanted to look up like what Taylor Swift's birthday is. It will tell me information about her and then like other people I can also click on. And yeah, it's a really good app if you want to like know something instead of just going on Safari. Then I have Miranda Sings Game and it's amazing. I love Miranda Sings. She's like my favorite YouTuber. And I'm not going to win the Miranda Sings Game because like something happened when I went into it and like, and, like my phone stopped recording itself so I'm not going to go on it. But like you just find things. Like it asks you to find like her lipstick and then it, it's, it's kind of hard honestly. But it's really fun and it's free so you should totally download it because I love her. Then I have Nikki and Gabby app and it's like an Instagram but like with them. Like they're the main topic on this I guess. And yeah they put like pictures of them. Like it's just mostly about them. But I like them so yeah. Then I have Crazy Helium. Let's see, I'm gonna do one. Let's do French. And let's do a robot. So you can see me. And you can like record yourself and it makes you have a robot voice. A robot voice with a green effect. And it's weird, but it's cool. And then of course I have music and I just have Shazam and it's like the best app ever because like if there's a song in the car that I want to know what the name is then I can just click here Ugh. and Shazam now and it will listen to it and it will tell me what the song is so it's great, it's like great. And then I have iHeartRadio which I never go into, I have Pandora, I have Sonos, then I have keyboards which like... I don't know, it just gives me really cool keyboards, like characters. I love this app. You can like, like for Instagram, that's what I use to make my bio. And you can do that. And then skip to the other one, and skip to the other one, and skip to the other one. And then, yeah, I use that for Instagram. And Better Fonts just gives you like really cool, um, word or text effects I guess so then you can do that like I do for my Instagram 
It's an Bitmoji and it's really, really, really cool. You can do like your character and like I can send this to my friend or something, like BFF, and then I can send it to her and it has my face on it. So Bitmoji is a really cool app. It's like your own emoji of yourself. Then for my final box, finally, I have shopping and I have Apple Store, Amazon, eBay, Pink Nation, and Secret Free, and it's Starbucks. And it gives you like secret menus and I think it's, oh, okay, an ad. And let's say I'm gonna go to Frappuccinos and I'm gonna go to Caramel Apple and it will give me like the secret menu, I guess. And I think it's really cool. And yeah, I mean, that's it. That's all I have. So that's it for what's on my iPhone success. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe by clicking that red big red subscribe button box. And subscribe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next week's video. Bye!